Chris the Carpenter here. I am exhausted. Okay, um, let's pump out tonight's video because I got to go to bed. Uh, so I, as you probably have seen in the previous videos, I, I pumped this guy out today. This was supposed to be the gantry. Um, really, really just top-notch pretty welds there, you know. And, um, and I managed to, to weld in about a half inch of twist. <laughs> so this is a no-go. Um, <clears throat> instead... I think we're going this guy um nice three inch wide flat stock um it allows me to fudge ludge these rails around a little bit and get the um bearing blocks back where i wanted it in the first place i still think up here is closer to the center of mass but um but again the more i stared at it it's like you got a router I mean, most of the stuff I'm going to be doing, it'll be like three quarters of an inch. So it'd be like that down there. So, like, well, here, look. Ugh. The router is going to be down there. Like, that's the deck. And so, now that I look at it, that actually is probably closer to the center of mass. Big chunk of router at that end. Big chunk of motor and steel mount on that end. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so here's my plan up to this uh, point. Here is a chunk of this plate stock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a strong back on it like that and call it good. Now, here's my philosophy. First of all, <clears throat> I looked up at the specs on these rails, and again, I think they're... A lot stronger than I think they are. Um, the other thing is this on edge, that's three inches of material. That's going to be incredibly strong in terms of bowing this way, bowing down this way. So, um, so I'm happy there. So it just really just needs a little bit of strength. Oh, and obviously that's where all the weight's going to be. I mean, the weight's pulling down this way. So the weight will be that way. So, um, so I think I can get by with just a little one inch strong back on it, um, just to stiffen it up a little bit. And, uh, and we're going to see where that gets me. I can do some nice curvy, pretty gussets down here. And, uh, and I think this is a much better way of going. Now, as, as my imagination goes, these are going to be flush with the top of this, with this strong back um, underneath it. Um, but now that I've got it just dry fit, sitting on this table, kind of staring at it, I, I might actually might use this recess to my advantage and actually sink it back. Um, oh, yeah, that kind of day. <laughs> There's something approximating the, uh, the diagonal gusset for the um, for the gantry it'll actually go all the way to the top there but nevertheless I think um, and I've got to see how the the motor is going to interact um, you know to couple into the shaft how it's going to mount but the point is I think within this inch and a half I could fudge this one way or the other to hopefully make my life easier in the following steps so um, so yeah, today was a swing and a miss on the gantry, but it led to this setup here, which I think is going to be um, probably a lot better in the grand scheme of things. So um, tomorrow, I'm going to get this guy welded together and uh, hopefully flat and straight this time, maybe try a different sort of way of doing it. And uh, once again, maybe hopefully soon we'll have um, one of these right there. And uh, maybe we'll get to see this guy move back and forth pretty soon. So, um, an unenthusiastic late night blog post, but, uh, but there's tonight's post. Um, I wanted better stuff to happen today, but uh, can't win them all. So, um, onward and upward, we'll, uh, we'll weld this thing again um, together again tomorrow and see where it gets us and go from there. Ding!